How's it going everybody? My name is John Hammond. Welcome back to another YouTube video, this time checking out the Kaizen CTF as we have been before. So I want to check out some of the web challenges, showcase and demonstrate some of these to you. Uh, the first one is the button, which is a pretty simple 100 uh, point challenge. Uh, again, the web category, and the question is, click the button to get the flag. How hard could it be? So. <laughs> this is a pretty classic web challenge where it's just a simple button, you can move your mouse over it, or at least try to, and every time you do, it hides, I guess it hides your mouse for one thing, I don't know if it does that on your end too, but if you try and mouse over it, it moves the button so you can't actually click on it. So, if you actually take a look at the source of the web page here, you see how it's doing what it's doing. Uh, we can see some JavaScript stuff, and there's really nothing else here, obviously, between that HTML comment. So the first one that we see is a... For one thing, this looks like jQuery. This looks like the, the jQuery library. So that must be how they're doing it to begin with. And then another JavaScript script um, that is, uh, this time, explaining the functionality of the web page. So it said this authorization object to null get this authorization thing and it creates a div ID message and there's a button that says click here to flag that they, that they create with JavaScript. It says this mouse over function that puts the position to a random spot and we can't really mouse over it. Every time we do move our mouse, it, it runs away. It moves away from us. But this click, once we actually on the click function and on the click button event handler, it makes a call with Ajax to this get flag URL. Um, it passes some headers with an authorization thing, and um, it posts with the HTTP post method, uh, passing in requests, can I have the flag, and whatever it returns from this, this get flag PHP file, um, it does display out in a message. So, initially, I tried to, like, automate this process. Here, I'll, I'll show you here. Because I have curl, right, and I can specify a URL, we can give it the button page with uh, that get flag.php script. I'll crank this down so you can see it more. It says, okay, we're not authorized to view the flag. If we pass in that data that it's specifying, re request can equal can I has the flag question mark again we're still not authorized to view this flag so it's got to be that header that's determining what we can do for us so I'm we can pass in oh sure an authorization uh, like header with curl right we can set that equal to um it looks like they just sent it to an undefined thing so I literally just tried the, the the string undefined but that didn't work for us so I tried that tactic for a little bit and it didn't work because I just wanted to see if I could automate getting the flag to begin with but it, it, it didn't work for us, so I went back to poking at it within the web page. Um, what I did was I actually used JavaScript's, I'm uh, sorry, Firefox extension called Firebug to be able to work with the web page. And I can try and zoom in here a little bit. So I can enable this and take a look at the HTML. Again, there's nothing in here, though, other than the button. And there's that script that's controlling it. Um, it doesn't look like it has any JavaScript for one thing that it sees though within the um, Firebug extension. So uh, that didn't work for me. I wasn't able to see JavaScript for whatever reason. But I am still able to interact with it and do things with it because of the console. I, Firebug can let me manipulate the entire web page however I want. So since jQuery is loaded and I know that it is on the page, I can use jQuery to specify I want that button object, right? And it, it, it'll get returned for me. And then I can say dot click to initialize or like invoke that event listener. And hey, it does it. And hey, we get this. Congrats, here's your flag. I clicked the button. So there it is, real easy. I just use Firebug to interact with the page and literally click the button by calling it within JavaScript and jQuery. That's all I did. So there's our flag. We can submit it for 100 points. That's how I solved it. Maybe you or some others solved it a different way. But hey, that's how I did it in this case. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you can check out the Firebug extension for Firefox if you haven't heard of it or seen it before. But it's a really cool JavaScript debugger. If you're ever trying to write your own JavaScript code, you can turn the, like, console and the, the logger on and it can notify if you have any errors in your JavaScript code because otherwise it's kind of difficult to debug JavaScript. <laughs> so, alright. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you in a later video.